just told her to calm down or we're both going down. 37 year old Michael James, a Navy veteran, talking to us just hours after he jumped into the frigid Passaic River to save a woman's life. She screamed that she couldn't swim and she wasn't lying. <laughs> when, uh, when the car went under, so did she. And, uh, Nobody else was jumping in, so somebody had to. James, who had to be taken to the hospital for hypothermia after the water rescue, says he was driving along Route 21 North around 9 this morning when he saw the 22-year-old woman sitting on her car as it was sinking in the river. Air 11 was over the scene after the rescue. Just went. I didn't even think about it. She was panicking a little at first. I tried to get her to calm down. She, she was good. She, she listened. She, she helped me help her. The police showed up. They threw, uh, they threw a rope in. Tried to push her over to the rope. She grabbed the rope. They, they pulled her up the wall. And then uh, I swam over to the other rope. They pulled me up. With the, the water, that temperature, you, you can't even talk too much. It takes your breath away from you, man. It's, it, it was freezing in there. Police say somehow the woman lost control of her car, hit the guardrail, went over it, and plunged into the river. She was able to get out the back window and onto the trunk of the vehicle. It's still unclear if weather played a role. There was snow uh, off to the side of the road. Um, I can't say for certain, but it could have played a factor in her going over the guardrail and not through the guardrail. What was the scariest part for you? Uh, not knowing if we were going to make it back.